This is VOA News. Via remote, I'm Marissa Melton. Ministers in Italy's new cabinet have reacted to the job at hand after being sworn in to form the country's new government. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma reports. Giorgia Meloni was sworn in at the Quirinal Palace as the nation's first far-right premier since the end of World War II and the first woman to lead the government. Guido Prisetto, Italy's defence minister, says he feels a sense of responsibility, a sense of the moment, and the awareness of the difficulty that awaits those who represent the country. Meloni's Brothers of Italy party was the top vote-getter in last month's national election. Her coalition allies include the far-right League of Matteo Salvini and the conservative Forza Italy party, headed by former Premier Silvio Berlusconi. I'm Charles de la Desma. Boris Johnson returned to Britain on Saturday as he considers an audacious attempt to win a second term as prime minister, only weeks after he was forced to step down, with some colleagues warning his comeback could create more political chaos. Potential candidates to replace Prime Minister Liz Truss, who quit on Thursday after six weeks in office, were embarking on a frantic weekend of lobbying to secure enough nominations to enter the leadership contest before Monday's deadline. Johnson, who was on holiday in the Caribbean when Truss resigned, has not commented publicly about a bid for his old job. He has received the support of dozens of conservative lawmakers, but needs to secure 100 nominations to be considered. Hurricane Roslyn intensified to a powerful Category 4 storm on Saturday and was expected to hit Mexico's Pacific coast by Sunday. VOA News. Russian-installed authorities have ordered all residents of the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson to leave immediately ahead of an expected Ukrainian advance. In a telegram post on Saturday afternoon, the regional pro-Kremlin administration called on civilians to use boat crossings over the Dnieper River to move deeper into Russian-held territory. They cited a tense situation on the front and the threat of shelling and alleged terror attacks by Kyiv. Kherson has been in Russian hands since the early days of the invasion in February. The city is the capital of a region of the same name, one of four Russian President Vladimir Putin illegally annexed last month. Some 80,000 people joined a rally in Berlin on Saturday in solidarity with women-led protests in Iran, sparked by the death in custody of a young woman detained by Iran's morality police. Some marchers joining a rally called by a women's collective brandished slogans such as Women, Life, Freedom. Some participants waved Kurdish flags. Iran has seen some six weeks of growing women-led protests, and Saturday shopkeepers and factory workers went on strike. As citizens continued to react angrily to the death in custody of Masa Amini, a 22-year-old arrested for allegedly breaching the country's strict dress code for women. In the United States, government figures show illegal border crossings hit the highest level ever recorded in the past year. AP correspondent Ben Thomas reports. U.S. Customs and Border Protection say a surge in migration from Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua saw more than 227,000 migrants stopped at the border with Mexico last month. For the year that ended September 30th, migrants were stopped 2.38 million times. That's a 37% increase from the prior fiscal year. The numbers reflect deteriorating economic and political conditions in some countries, the relative strength of the U.S. economy, and uneven enforcement of Trump-era asylum restrictions. I'm Ben Thomas. The Vatican said Saturday it and China had renewed a secret and contested agreement on the the appointment of Roman Catholic bishops in the communist country. It was the second time the accord, which is still provisional, was extended for another two years since it was first reached in 2018. The latest extension had been widely expected, with Pope Francis foreseeing it in an exclusive interview with Reuters on July 2nd. And once again, our top story this hour, Georgia Maloney has been sworn in as Italy's prime minister, the first woman to hold that office. Her cabinet of 24 ministers also took the oath of office on Saturday. Via remote, I'm Marissa Melton. This is VOA News.